When we think of dromaeosaurs, we all automatically think of a feathered, medium-sized carnivore with a long curved claw on its big toe. However, there are some rather strange species in this family. One of them is the Austroraptor. Austroraptor was a medium-sized carnivorous theropod that lived in Argentina between 72.4 and 66 million years ago. It was the largest dromaeosaur ever discovered in the Southern Hemisphere. It could grow up to five meters long and weighed approximately 91 to 27 kilogram, which would make it as heavy as a lion. Although little of the entire skeleton has been found, the bones available for analysis have some characteristic features that distinguish the Austroraptor from other dromaeosaurs. The skull is low and elongated, much longer than in other dromaeosaurs and Michur's 80 centimeters and Hasconical, non-serrated teeth that resemble a stretching from spinosaurs. Several skull bones of the Austroraptor bear some resemblance to those of small trodontids, and the forelimbs of the Austroraptor were quite short for a dromaeosaur, its humerus being less than half as long as its femur. Among the Dromaeosauridae, only Tianyuraptor, Zhenyuanlong, and Mahakala have similarly short front legs. The length of its arms has led Austroraptor to be compared to another, more well-known short-armed dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus, although there is no close relationship between the two taxa. It is possible that Austroraptor rarely used its arms, unlike its relatives, who had longer arms for climbing or, for example, for holding on to prey animals. Austroraptor is part of the subfamily Unenlaginae within the Dromaeosauridae. Thus, it is closely related to Butriraptor, with which it shares certain derived features of the cervical vertebrae. It has been suggested that Unenlaginae had better abilities for running and chasing predators than other dromaeosaurids, while Laurasian dromaeosaurids were stockier, had shorter legs, and had an active predatory lifestyle. Unenlaginae were likely able to maintain high speeds for long periods of time because they were more graceful. Because of these adaptations, it is likely that Unenlagines hunted small, fast animals, although the exact animals are unknown. Another idea is that Austroraptor feeds mainly on fish. This theory is supported by its long snout and the resemblance of the teeth to those of spinosaurs. Thus, he would have led a lifestyle that had similarities to birds living today, such as storks. His long legs would have helped him to wade into the water and wait for a fish to swim within reach of his mouth. The holotype specimen was found in sediments deposited in the Campanian to Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous. Austroraptor shared its paleo environment in the Allen Formation with various dinosaurs and early mammals. If there was such a great diversity among the titanosaurs, this indicates that there were habitats that could host a variety of herbivorous dinosaurs. Other contemporary species include the titanosaurs Laplatosaurus, Rochosaurus, and Saltosaurus, the bird Liminavis, and the hadrosaurid Bonapartosaurus, Calumapusaura, and Lapampasaurus. This biodiversity indicates that the Austroraptor lacked nothing 